what's worth more money, what's worth less, and what's this kind of like uh, international, what are they worth? What's up guys, back at the coin store at Silver Mountain Coin and Jewelry in Asheville by the Patton Avenue, here with Dylan. So I have some uh, paper money collection, mostly came from junk door, I find it accumulated enough uh, uh, to bring it to you and learn about it. What's worth more money, what's worth less, and what's this kind of like uh, international, what are they worth? Yeah, so you have quite a few different categories of things here. One, you have, well, I guess we can start here. These okay. are like a gold foil note. So these are not actual notes. Mm -hmm. These are just colored and made to look like bills that we have currently. And that one, of course, is made to look like the old thousand dollar bill. But of course, these are just totally 10,000. Oh, yeah. Ten, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if that was real, that'd be worth a, a, a whole ton of money. But um, these here, just they're more of like a novelty mm -hmm. item. As you can see, even the serial numbers are all like 999 mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's not an actual US currency. It's does more it have gold in there? It does technically have a very thin layer of gold okay. that goes over the top of this, but it'd be nearly impossible to extract it. You'd probably have to take a stack this big of them mm -hmm. and and melt it down, you probably end up with a little dot or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, okay. So it's gold plated, plus it's wells off yeah, because it's yeah. not protected. Exactly, the more you go like this with it over time, it's gonna wear off. Mm -hmm. So all this stuff is just really novelty mm -hmm. items and the value of it is just really what someone's willing to pay. A lot of times things like this, we might sell anywhere from 25 cents to a couple dollars a piece, just depending okay. on who's looking at it and who's interested in it and how much of it that we have. So that's really basically just not much of any okay value. got it yeah so we'll put that there uh next you have a lot of different foreign notes along with some other things in here some of them but quality some of them good quality is gonna also make a make difference or not really uh, on some notes it makes a slight difference on a lot of them not much of any difference mm -hmm. uh, if i remember correctly i believe that it's still exchangeable at mm. the bank of england so that's like a, having a one dollar note okay so it's going to cost at least one dollar or less yeah so that one would be like a dollar note cool. um you have some of these other ones that either have a very low exchange value or they were replaced by like the euro or a mm -hmm. uh, more new version of their own currency. So basically what that means is that they replaced this note with either like the euro or they replaced it with like a, like, I don't know how you'd call it, like a refigured currency. Okay. So it's like a Soviet Union money it went to like uh, rubles and greenness and all this type exactly, of different yeah. stuff. Exactly, yeah. Like for example, uh, Mexico currency, they used to have thousand peso coins. Mm -hmm. But now if you were to try to exchange that coin, it doesn't even exchange for like one peso. Okay, so yeah. they reset the money. Okay, yeah, got they it. Yeah, reset it. You know, when the economy kind of goes down, they have to redo their money and refigure mm -hmm. it a different way. You think dollar gonna do that one day? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> we'll see. I think that's why everybody keeps buying that yeah. stuff over there. Silver and stuff, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, hopefully it doesn't because yeah. we're gonna be in trouble. But... Know, we're gonna be really screwed yeah, if it yeah. does happen. But um, yeah, so that's what a lot of this stuff is. You have just a lot of just average notes in mm -hmm. here. Um, you have a C Canada dollar there. Hey. And I believe even on this one that pretty much any Canadian currency is still exchangeable. They're cool. like sort of like United States. You can spend any money from any point in time. You can spend a penny from the 1700s from mm -hmm. the United States and still spend it as a penny today. So that's at least a dollar, right? Yeah. That's cool. Yep. But a lot of this stuff is either very low value, mm -hmm. decommissioned, replaced by the euro. Do you yeah. buy those anyway? Uh, we do buy those. We actually sell some over here. I see that. The little yeah. pile over here. They yeah. don't look like uh, uh, like anything graded or nothing. Yeah. No, it's all just average grade stuff. We sell them individually at a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. And then in bulk, we usually sell them for about 50 to 75 cents a piece. So a lot of the stuff we pay between 35 and 50 cents. So, it's cool. Like if I was uh, wanted to some Soviet Union paper money, I would probably come pick them up. Do, yeah. do you ever get those? Uh, we definitely get stuff like that sometimes. Yeah, I would definitely come get those so yeah it's like depends where you form sometimes it's interesting collectors it's uh exactly because mm -hmm. you can find some really interesting stuff i mean like right here this the is, art is super cool yeah yeah the, the detail on it that's a german note you know after mm -hmm. about 15 years after world war one 
Mm. You know, it has a lot of history to Especially it. Especially from from Germany, it might be like a little bit more valuable to them than yeah, versus exactly. me and you, you know? Yeah, because if it's, you know, of course, if you're selling the stuff in the countries that it's from, they generally will have a higher value mm -hmm. than if you're selling it in another country. Okay. Just like how American currency and coins are a lot more collected here. Okay, makes sense. Yep. And that's just some certificate, yeah, whatever. So that's not really anything there. Mm -hmm. Uh, next, we'll move over here. So you got some $2 red seal notes. You got some silver certificates. And then you have some higher grade silver mm -hmm. certificates. Uh, here we sell them in like this condition and this condition. Mm -hmm. uh, ones like this we sell for about $5 a piece. Oh, cool. Ones like this we sell for about $3 a piece. Ones like that, they're a little bit higher grade. We're gonna sell them anywhere from like four to five dollars. Okay. Um, if they're the older ones where they're a star note, that also adds a little bit of value. Yeah, I don't have any. Of, oh yeah, I do one. Wow. One in the average condition. One that that adds a little bit, but they're yeah. pretty common in mm -hmm. these bills to find star notes. So it's not gonna be like a huge value difference between them. Okay. So yeah. So on ones like this, uh, we pay three dollars and seventy-five cents. We sell them for five dollars. This stuff here, we pay two dollars. We sell them for three dollars, and then those there, um, we'd be paying. Depending on the note, there's a few different grades there, about mm. four to five dollars. Cool. Yeah. So that's good information for everybody yeah. and me. Next time I know. Thank you. Exactly. No problem.